As you may recall, the primary goal of the Horizon Walker program is to research new technologies for the creation of a long-term, self-sustaining, interplanetary society. Our first attempt was not, was not a success. Yeah, that was the uh, ion drive thing. They were too weak. I was thinking that the way forward was to make a craft that could run on very little fuel. That didn't work out too well. There wasn't much fuel use, but there was also very little thrust, and you just couldn't get anywhere in a reasonable amount of time. This is a different approach. This is a ship that makes its own fuel. I'm using Keythane now. I've got this big section up front. This is the Keythane plant, essentially. I've got a big tank for it up here, got a processor here, and enough fuel to probably get most anywhere. This bit back here, that's the lander. This is an unmanned doohickey that goes down to the surface of things and digs up some keythane and brings it back to the main ship. For our first destination to try out this whole approach, we are going to Minmus. It's got a nice population of keythane and it's really close by, so if anything goes wrong, we can fix it. Maybe. We've got a burn to keythane not to Keythane, to Minmus, where there is Keythane. We've got that coming up in about 12 minutes, so let's fast forward to that. See you in a moment. Beginning burn in 4, 3, 2, 1, burn. Oh, crap, 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 crap. The uh, back engines were off. They shouldn't be on. No, the back engines were on. They shouldn't be on. Let's turn all those off. There we go. And we've probably missed our window, but let's do this burn anyways, just because. Okay, I managed to get over here and I've found a bit of a design flaw. I would put a keythane detector on the mothership, because of course you would need a keythane detector somewhere. And that's fine and dandy, but I forgot to put one on the ship that's supposed to go get the keythane. What this means is I can't fine-tune where I'm landing. I can't aim for the keythane. Uh, that will be certainly something to fix in the Mark II, but for now I came up with a sort of solution going by using the detector on the mothership and when it starts to ping I set my... Um, I point at the ground, directly at the ground. So I'm thinking where I'm pointing there should be keythane. And using this method I've determined that there ought to be something on that lake perimeter there, right on that shore line that I'm looking at. I'm not too certain, but I'm going to detach the, the mining ship on my next pass around and try and get there. Wish me luck. Quick and time to explain, we are undocking now and landing now. Uh, undocking and uh, switching and... Come on, where am I? What's going on? Why am I not turning right? Come on, turn faster. Come on, we're in a hurry here. Turning, okay. And, oh crap, engines have to be on. Oh crap, crap. We are on a deadline. I'll explain in a moment. Engines are all on. Ooh, bumped into the ship. Okay, uh. Ooh, should be fine. Oh, come on, get out of the way. Move. Lost a solar panel, I don't care. Burning. Okay. There we are. Okay, now I can explain. Um, when I was setting up that, that previous landing, what I forgot is that things move in space. Uh, the planet's spinning, we're not in a perfectly equatorial orbit around Minmus, so that was spinning. Uh, long story short, I couldn't line up a good approach on that deposit I was going for. What I could do was wait for my detector to go bing, and then land immediately thereafter. So that's what I'm doing. I've waited for my detector to go bing, it went, it went bing a few moments ago, and now I'm, I've killed off all my horizontal velocity, and I'm hoping to drop straight onto the key thing. We've already broken this ship, so it's not going to be the one we use forever, but I was expected anyways. It's a prototype. What do you get? 
Okay, I'm going to see if I can't do a landing and join you when we are nearer to the ground. Okay, it turns out we're landing on the night side, so you probably can't see anything right now, but trust me, the ground is distressingly close. We are landing in the highlands of Minmus as opposed to the one of the lakes, which I tend to aim for, but this is where the key thing was, hopefully, so this is where we are. Coming in, I'm really not sure how far we are from the ground, actually, since we're not in one of the capsules, I can't go inside and see the radar altimeter. I just have to eyeball it. But that might be enough. I think, I think I've got this. First try, too. I'm impressed with myself. Mastering a skill that pretty much every KSP player learned within the first month of playing. I've been playing for, good lord, almost a year and a half now, and I still can't land reliably. Shameful, I know. Oh, almost landed, I think. Almost, I think. Uh, yeah, we're just... Okay, yeah, I can see the engine light on the ground now. Landed and thud. That's landed. Gonna rock around a bit, settle in, and we are now going to wait until the sun's up because the keythane drills take a lot of power to go. See you then. And sun's almost up. Yeah, I'll call that enough sunlight. Let's extend the remaining solar panel. Extending. Doot, 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 doot. Whoop. And as extended, I think. How much power are we getting out of that? About 64, 65, 60, uh, about two thirds power. Will that be enough to run a keythane drill? Let's find out. Deploy drill. And drilling. Is that working? Is that drilling? I can't tell. Did I miss the key thing? Okay, uh, be back in a moment. Okay, so I had this other uh, keythane probe in orbit around Ninmus. Oh, shut up, beepy. That I was using to do a advanced recon thing on Ninmus before I sent over the main thing. But now what I'm doing, I'm using it as a beacon. I'm going to try and do a uh, controlled descent into terrain, as they say, on a spot where I know that there is keythane. And it turns out it's not too far away from where I landed. I was off by just about 10 kilometers which is not bad. I'm hoping that enough survives that I can use the debris as a homing beacon that I can uh, do to re-land the uh, mining vehicle. Let's see. We're coming in about... Okay, I'm about to want to do a bit of a deceleration bit. I think... I think I'll want to do that... Mm, soon. Uh, I'm getting... The, as always, this is a worrying thing. Uh, it's nice that I don't expect to survive, but... Oh, of course. I'm going up now. Let's just get through that. Ain't that always the way? I can't even crash right. This is, this is just embarrassing, really. Okay. Let's try that again. A bit less enthusiasm from the engines would be nice. Like that. All right, bring it in. And another one of those. Let's see if we can't crash uh, politely into Minmus. Not leave too much of a mess. Oh, okay, I, I might just end up landing this thing. Yeah, like that. And... <laughs> the, uh, Nickel says we bounce. Oh, no, we land quite nicely. Okay, now I can use this as a, as a homing beacon to bring in the mining ship. Be right back. Alright, we're coming in on our second landing now. 
about to slow down, hopefully, and oop, get back here. All right, if we do this, we can hold that, lock that, burn without doing anything useful, and try and do another thing. Words are not helping right now. I'll be quiet. That was my watch beeping, not me. I'm still quiet. Almost landed now. Almost. Just bring in real nice and slow. That is one of the th one of the treacherous things about landing on Minmus or any other very irregular body. Your altimeter is worth almost nothing. If you don't have radar lock, you've you're pretty much just going by sight. And I think we've got this. Yeah, that's landed. Let it finish settling out. And we extend that solar panel. And is that extended yet? Is that getting sunlight? Yeah, getting a good, nice, full sunlight there. Let's deploy, deploy a drill. And are we getting anything? Yes, we're getting Keythane. We're getting Keythane very slowly. Let's see if we can activate the other drill. We have enough power to do that. Open up the power tab. No, stay open power tab. And deploy the other drill. How are we doing? Yeah, it appears we have enough power to run both drills. That's good. That's going to take a while. Be right back. And we are now full up on Keythane. So let's retract the drills. Drill retract. And other drill is over here. Retract. Retract the solar panel. And see where we are in the universe. Where's our mothership? Mothership's over there. Okay. Now let's begin to plot a way home, if we can. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Ah, screw it. Let's just launch down the 270 and see where we end up. Engine's throttling up. Let's begin to pitch over. And hold that. Let's see where we're going. Is this correct? No one knows. It is a mystery for the ages. What, okay, what are we doing wrong? We're doing that wrong. We need to, I think, aim a bit more northish. I think that might help. We're going to have to do a lot of correction once we get into orbit, but until then, might as well do what we can to minimize that correction. Like that. Is that helping? No idea. At 150 we need to cut this. So, oh, need to bring that back up to do that. I wish there was a good way to see your uh, apoapsis when you're in the in the regular view instead of in the map view. Because this is, because, yeah, blah, 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 words didn't work there. Okay, now there's that. And we'll need to do a bit of other stuff when we get to the place, and yeah. And through the magic of orbital mechanics, we bring you now to the final approach on my docking. And I'm a bit worried because I'm running very low on monopropellant. Uh, so I'm going to do this really gentle-like. You'll note that I'm using the uh, a, a, a mod here. It's the docking port camera mod. Very, very nice. I'm really liking it. It makes this a lot easier. If I wasn't using this, I wouldn't be talking to you guys while doing this. I'd be too focused on what I'm doing. Although I probably ought to be a bit focused on what I'm doing, because this is a delicate operation. Since I am running low on RCS, well, I'm going to deactivate this row of RCS clusters. There. Now what am I doing? Where, where am I? Okay, I'm drifting off again. Let's go up now. 
up, I say. And counter that. Countering, counter. Now go a bit to the, the that way. Lock pending. What's that mean? Uh, th th this is the first time I've used this mod, so I'm in a bit of a learning experience here. Whoa, that's wrong. That's the wrong way. Oh, get in there. Come on. Oh, back off, back off, back off. Slow down. Uh, I'm screwing it with the with the camera. Oh no! What am I doing? Okay, I need to go down now. Going down. No, that way down. And do this. Come on, get in there. And what is going on? What is, what is, where am I in things? I think I need to go this way, maybe a bit. I also need to straighten out my pointy direction. Like that. Down to six units of monopropellant here. If I can just dock, I can transfer the key thing over and refill. So let's, uh, okay. I'm going to stop talking to you guys and be right back. Ha ha, did it. I am so good at this game. That's a lie. Okay, so let's transfer over the key thing. Oh, that was wrong. I turned on the engine for some reason. What I meant to do is press Alt instead of Shift to transfer Keythane out of the lander into the main tank. That's going to take a while, so we fast forward. And there we are. Main tank is now half full. So let's begin synthesizing monopropellant. Let's see, is that coming out? Yeah, that's coming in, okay. And also, let's synthesize some liquid fuel and oxidizer. Let's fast forward to see how much we get when we're done. Okay, I've just looked at the numbers, and we didn't really get as much as I thought we would. We got uh, about a third of a tank of monopropellant out of it, as well as some, well, I said, well some, uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer. Not as much as I was hoping. But this does seem promising. This does seem like a uh, like something that might be useful to look into in the future. Uh, it'll require more developments, yes. But I really think this might be the way forward for the horizon, for the Horizon Walker program. So I will see you next time when I've revised this concept a bit more. Bye.